Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Robin here. Sorry, I've been super busy with work for the past five weeks. I made some videos for basic dishes, but now I'm back with a new video for Chinese New Year. To celebrate Chinese New Year, I made my favorite snack. It's called Ma Hua, which means fried dough twist. As you will see and hear, it's very crunchy and yummy. Without further ado, let's get started. As always, the ingredients and measurements are listed down below in the description box. First, mix the flour, salt, sugar, and baking soda together. The baking soda helps the dough rise a little and become crispy when frying. Add lukewarm water and mix with the dry ingredients. Add one egg and mix everything together. Add two tablespoons of oil, mix well. At this time, you will feel that the dough is soft and moist. As long as there are no more dry ingredients in the bowl, don't worry about if the dough is smooth. Cover the dough and let it rest for 30 minutes. After resting, the dough will be very easy to knead. Knead the dough until smooth. The amount of ingredients I used here can make 12 ma hua. Divide the dough into half and make the first 6 ma hua. Flatten the dough with the rolling pin and roll it out into a rectangular shape. Divide the dough into 12 pieces evenly. Today I'll be using a two-strand method. Take one piece out and roll it out into a 20-inch long strand. Repeat and make a second strand. Put these two strands together and start twisting them by pushing one hand up and the other hand down. Keep twisting until you feel strong resistance from the dough. Then you just need to lift up both ends. The dough should twist together by itself. It's pretty fun. Pinch the ends together. Cover it with a cloth or plastic wrapper to prevent the dough from drying out. Repeat the process to make more dough twists. Now let's get into the frying part. Heat up the oil to 250 Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius degree. Add the dough twist. Use low to medium heat and fry them for about 18 minutes until golden. Remember to use low to medium heat. If the heat is too high, the surface will become golden fast, but the inside will still be raw. You want to cook it slowly and evenly. So remember to flip it a few times. When it's done, place the cooked ma hua on paper towels to soak up the excess oil. Leave them at room temperature to cool down. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's see how crunchy they are. Mm. 
I hope you enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Happy New Year, everyone! 新年快乐 Thanks for watching. Bye.